<laughs> Baby, I imagine it only feels good out because we're not in the sun. You think? Probably. I feel like my wig waist is shining bright. Don't look at it! Don't look! Don't look! <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing it. I can't believe I'm doing it, baby. You're doing it. I am. And there's flowers. New ones. Purple ones. Wait, weren't they white last year? Yeah. Wow. Oh, I bet you they're all dying because how hot it's been. Uh, oh, a flutterby. Oh, I bet you the heat is killing them. Not this one, though. This one's surviving, survival of the fittest, this bitch right here. Yeah. <laughs> hey, where'd Wenny go? Wooey! Wen! Wen, come here. She says, you know, it's not fun being small and having people just handle you however they want. <laughs> I like how this is my first time ever voting on neighborhood action plans in the Sims. Because, like, I really, really love the build and buy and the cast items in Eco Lifestyle, but I haven't played with any of this stuff yet. And I like how I added this to the thing, to the roster of things. Um, just the neighborhood action plan will be that everyone will be drunk all the time. Oh, uh, what was our water conservation? Um, power conservation, uh, things like that. Rough housing, that's goofy. <laughs> All of these things. And I'm like, no, let's actually just make it a rule that we all have to be drunk all the time. And then I wasted all of my points voting for it. I think it's gonna win. It's way ahead because I'm the one that poured all 200 some odd points I had into it. Uh, yeah, sure, fuckhead. Uh, anyway, <laughs> that's the guy that's always mean to her on Social Bunny. Like, why are you calling me asking me for fucking relationship advice? I don't know. But listen, guys, listen. Aw, oh, Johnny, are you skiing? I'm actually kind of mad at you that you didn't invite me, but I'm glad that you're living life anyways. I made another sim in this file. Oh! Sorry. I made another sim in this file, and he is sheer and total chaos and i'm i love it i'm about it he's fun he wears a gnome costume all the time and just so everybody is aware the gnome costume does stay on most of the time during woohoo she has cramps i should probably buy her some white i'm gonna tell you right fucking now as much as i've been playing with this other sim that i created my chaotic evil gnome and seen her ass out at bars and shocked she's not pregnant shocked she went right up to my evil gnome right up to him and asked him for woohoo. <laughs> I am disappointed severely that life goes on for all the Sims when you play in a save file. So by the time that I had logged back in to play with her, like five days had passed and she got dropped by her fucking record company for not releasing music every day and also wasn't getting paid her royalties the entire time even though the days were going by which i think is something that they need to fix if you're gonna give us the option to play with multiple sims in the same neighborhood and life goes on and she can go out and wreck her life like then you need to be also realistic about things like she also still gets paid for the things that she's already done the book she's already written the youtube videos she's already made the music she's already released she didn't get paid at all she didn't get paid at all but she did get dropped by her record company that's not fair 
I gotta get her some chill pills. She's got the, she's got the cramps. I'm just gonna sit him on the lawn. You can find him. Oh, look, there he is! His name is randomly generated. I have good compatibility with Jeffrey Landgrab. Jeffrey Landgrab can Thelma and Louise himself right off the cliff. Bad, bad man! Okay, so this is a neighborhood in the game that's completely empty. Like, you can build whatever you want on it. And um, I had a plan. Listen, I had a plan. You can see right there, that's where my chaotic evil gnome lives. I had a plan to fill this neighborhood with my own sims that would be released into the wild. Um, but the problem that I'm having with that, now that I've logged back into her and have been playing with her, I don't like that she doesn't get paid. I don't like that she lost her record deal. Like, I can deal with the risk of like, she could die, she could get pregnant, all this shit could happen, she could completely ruin her relationship with her like 10 fucking boyfriends, that's fine. But I don't like that aspect of the gameplay, so now I'm like, do I actually want to do that? Do I actually want to fill this neighborhood full of sims, especially when I get so fucking attached to all of them. But life goes on. If you play with another sim in your save file for a week, that means a week is also passing for your other sims. And when you log back in, that's where they'll be. And I have to wonder what's going to happen because I do plan for her to have babies at some point. Will her kids go to school? Will they do their homework? Will they do all of that shit? If life is going on and I'm not telling them to do it, if life is going on and I'm not in control of their household, that worries me a lot. He, and listen, I mean this in the most loving way possible, is a hoe. <laughs> I made him and released him into the world to create chaos. He goes to the bar within five minutes and I usually play sped up. He's woohooed with two women. And then right before he leaves, another one. He's woohooed with Rose, my main sim. He absolutely loves to hack people's bank accounts and steal their password. Everywhere he goes, he breaks the toilet. He shits and pukes in them and then pranks them. So the next time somebody touches them, they blow up. One of his favorite hobbies is going to the beach and making sand castles in the nude. He's got a tan from going to the beach and just refusing to wear clothes because all of his outfits are gnome costumes and they're too hot. This is also his other favorite pastime, playing the fucking organ badly. And I'm going to guess that it is because he autonomously does it. Listen, usually in The Sims, when you sing karaoke and you don't have a high singing skill, it gives you a negative mood buff of feeling embarrassed. He gets a, a positive mood buff. He loves it. He, like, literally it says some something that he get sounding like shit and making people's ears bleed brings him joy. I love him, though. I love him, though. And it's really funny because his head's, like, up here and I don't really realize it until he's eating or brushing his teeth. He's also wealthy for no reason. For no reason. He's got a, a little house full of the most expensive items. And he's a dick. He's a womanizer. But look at him! Our toaster broke and E got to pick a new one. <laughs> I am extremely tired and I am trying very, very hard to wake up right now. I'm trying very, very, very hard to wake up right now. This is day, I don't know, of not being able to sleep for more than three hours. What was the day that I got like 12 hours of sleep? Can I go back to that? I hate talking in the dark. It's actually, I'm not in the dark. There's two lamps on in this room. It's just that everything around me is dark. It shreds the video quality, but there's nothing to see. I just need to talk about something. So I've had an influx of views over the last couple of days, and I'm wondering if it's because the fucking algorithm on YouTube has changed. Um, I keep getting suggestions for videos that are like years old, and I keep getting, I like, I just got a Danny Gonzalez community post from two years ago show up in my YouTube algorithm. And don't get me wrong, I watch Danny Gonzalez, so he belongs there. But like, 
I saw something, I think it was like an article or something that I scrolled past somewhere that was like YouTube changed its algorithm and that's great news for small creators. Yes, but that's not good news for small creators who also consume YouTube because I keep, I'm literally seeing these videos that are years old, these community posts that are fucking years old. And I'm like, huh? I saw, um, I just saw a community post. What made me compelled to like talk about it? from four years ago from somebody. Like whatever they're talking about is absolutely irrelevant at this point. I don't know, just a thought. I intended to go to Walmart because I couldn't sleep. My intention was to go to Walmart at like six o'clock in the morning after having like a three hour power nap, but I couldn't fall back to sleep. And now like I just had to go downstairs and make D some toast because his blood sugar was tanking. And, um, now everybody's up like Epps just got up he's getting ready to go to the gym the boys are both away so now i'm wondering if i should do a pickup order because there's some shit that i need and at this point like i no longer have the energy from like the three hours of sleep that i got now i'm just fucking tired but i need some groceries i need some groceries and i really wanted to get the setting spray and I also, I can't believe it, guys. I can't believe it. Okay, to be fair, I looked at the packaging for these nails. These do not have acrylic in them, like the ones that I usually buy. Oh, <gasps> hi, baby. <laughs> so they're falling off and they're turning yellow. And I'm kind of disappointed in it. I was going to just paint over them, but they're turning yellow. Uh, because they're turning yellow, but they're coming loose. And they kind of feel like they're gonna crack and break. I've only had them on for like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, five days. So I need to get some nails. I wanna get some setting spray. I need groceries. But now everybody's up. Now everybody's up. And the thought of going to Walmart by myself ain't gonna happen. Epps is gonna have to come with me. But the thing is, if Epps comes with me, then both the boys have to go with us because I won't leave them home alone. And the thought of braving Walmart on three hours of sleep with both of my kids. I don't know. This is what Dee picked out from the children's hospital um, gift shop. Every time that we go, he gets to he gets to get something. He does too if he's with us. But this, I can't think of, he already owns this bear in like two different, uh, what do you call it? Collars, I guess. One of them has a pattern on it, I wasn't sure. So he named it a spinoff of one of them. I can't, when he gets out of the bathroom, I'll ask him. What did you name your bear again? Uh, the blue one? Yeah. Blavin. Blavin. What's that a spin on again? Blue and David. Blavid. Blavid, right? Yeah. It's a spin on the name David because he has a white one named David. I'm making a Barbie for my save file, and I'm going to tell myself that she's going to be a good one. She's not going to be drunk all the time and sleeping with everybody. You're yeah, right. I feel like most of my save files, I start with that intention, and it never ends up that way. But I'm going to fucking try. She leaves this house one time, she will be corrupted. She leaves this house once, it's over for her. Anyway, I don't know if I am breaking out or if that is a hive. Oh, joy. Oh, one time. I really feel like my birth control is not birth controlling. Do you see what I mean though? My nails are getting gross already. Listen, I feel like my birth control is not birth controlling. And the whole point of birth control is like to prevent pregnancy. That's not why I'm using it. I'm using it for um, hormones. And I just feel like it's not doing as well as it used to. But it could be the fact that like I've only been back on it. This is my second pack and i usually feel a little crazy the first week back on it like when i start a new pack and i'm still on the first week i don't know i feel like it's just not doing as well as it used to and also i haven't been sleeping well so that doesn't really help um what was i gonna say there was something that i needed to talk about i didn't post yesterday because of the akron children's hospital visit uh i will tell you guys this much have you ever done the thing where you fall asleep for a little bit and you wake up and suddenly you're not 34 years old, you're 15 and you're late for school. Because I do that all the time. I also feel like I have unfinished business dreams all the time about school because I dropped out like 
17 ish years ago like i'll have these dreams even i'll be i'll be 35 next month in august i have these dreams where i'm like in a classroom and i'm like i'm not supposed to be here and i know that's like an unfinished business dream i know but I don't regret dropping out. Don't drop out of school. Stay in school. I just personally don't regret. But stay in school. I'm not saying drop out. I'm just saying like I don't regret. So I don't know what the fuck that like is up with that. But um, I fell asleep at like a decent hour. I fell asleep at like 10. And ended up waking up at 11. And for some fucking reason in my head. I thought it was 11 uh, a.m. Fly out of bed. Start frantically running around thinking that. Uh, D had missed his appointment at 1030 in the morning and then it took me probably like a solid two minutes to realize that that wasn't the case. I couldn't fall back to sleep. I couldn't fall back to sleep. So listen, I don't know if I showed you guys or told you guys about it. D got the blue teddy bear and E got, I think it's called like a Newton's clock or something like that. Don't quote me. It's like the silver ball thing where you like, they like click together and a little like a a uh, stress ball that looks like a clown. Uh, they get like a budget. So he, that little fucking Newton clock thing. I don't even know if that's the name of it. We got in the car and I opened it. It was plastic. I was like $17 for this bitch and it's plastic. But it fit in his budget. So he wanted. Anyways, that's what they got. And I got a migraine from sleeping for an hour. And then on top of that, because I, had, I hadn't really slept, I didn't have any caffeine. And guys, currently right now, I am drinking a coffee and using an energy drink as a palate cleanser. So, it was, I had a really bad headache. But I didn't want to be like agitated on top of being tired, so I just opted to stay away from the caffeine. It ended up working out fairly okay. Please don't fall asleep, computer, so that I know that I'm not going to lose this. I did come home and nap for a couple of hours and I made it through it. I knew that I would and I wasn't the one driving, so it was fine. Uh, but he had a really good visit. He had a really good visit. His weight, since he was diagnosed um, two years ago, has doubled, which is really exciting because him being severely underweight was what caused me, like him dropping like a drastic amount of weight, like in an unbelievably short amount of time is what made me take him to the doctor in the first place to get him checked out. So he is finally, finally, finally catching up. I've been spending the last like week, I think it's been a, exactly a week going through his clothes and like sorting them out. Cause I would like to give away like stuff that he's outgrown. Cause he's been the same fucking size since like first grade, I want to say. I've been sorting out his clothes like shit that's so nice. I would send him to school in it and then like play clothes. And then I'm going to give them away to like whoever wants them. But I really want the really nice ones to go to somebody that is like struggling to get their kid school clothes. Because I get it. I get it, you know. But yeah, I only slept three hours last night. And I'm really fucking tired. Epps just left for the gym probably like a half hour ago. And I just fed the boys lunch. So I'm kind of thinking about taking a nap. But I've been like chugging caffeine. So that's probably not going to happen. But I feel like I, I need to at least like rest my eyes because they hurt a lot. And I really need to go to Walmart and get some stuff. Um, I need a new set of nails. These nails are weird. They, they look weird. They look weird. They're like, the only word that I can think of is like oxidizing. I don't know. But I looked at the package and they don't have acrylic in them like the ones that I usually get. So I think that's why. And they are cracking. They are cracking around the edges and they are coming loose. Well, a couple of them are. Usually the way that it works is like once one of them comes loose, the rest of them do. Who is texting? Stop using a phone for what it's for. Um. Anyways, I think I'm going to try to nap for a little bit and then if I can't I'm just gonna get up and go to Walmart and get my stuff. I thought about doing a pickup but <sighs> I don't feel like that either. I try not to make decisions when I'm grouchy and I haven't slept but then the next thing I know the whole day has gone. <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys go though because I want to be able to nap for a little bit and not have to worry about getting up and like worrying about upload times and stuff like that. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. <coughs> Trying to not cut off the last word. Bye.